In the last video, we added a text shadow to our text. Now, what if we want to add a shadow to a block element, such as a div? For that, we need to use the box shadow. And the parameters are actually very similar to the text shadow property we talked about in the last video, and I'll show you that in a minute. So you can see I have a very simple div here, and of course this is a block element, so that's why we have to use the box shadow property. I've given it a width of 600 pixels, a height of 200 pixels, and added a color of blue, and we can see it over here. So what we want to do is add a little shadow to the bottom and to the sides. Now we don't need to see the HTML anymore, so let's go ahead and just resize everything up here, and let's give this a lot of room. There we go. Okay, good. So let's go ahead and put in the box shadow property. And you guessed it, it's just box shadow. And then like I said, this is very similar to the text shadow property. Some of the values are very similar. So the first value is for horizontal, the second value is for vertical. So let's just make this 15 pixels and 15 pixels. And let's go ahead and make the shadow orange. You will remember this is where the color goes. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's refresh, and there you can see, we've got a nice little shadow here. Now, similar to the text shadow property, we can also blur this as well. So let's blur this, uh, let's say five pixels. So we'll go ahead and save this. And there you can see now we've got a little bit of a blur effect going here. Now, unlike the text shadow property, the box shadow property has a fifth value that we can specify, and that is called the spread radius. And we put that right after the blur value. And again, we can specify this in pixels. So let's say we want to increase the spread by seven pixels. Let's go ahead and do that. And let's take a look and see what happens here. And there you can see it increased the size of the shadow. So that's how that works. Now, one thing that you can do with the box shadow property is that you can actually add inner shadows. Now this works usually best with lighter colors. So let's actually make our background color light gray. You could actually make it white if you want. It stands out very well against that as well. And we're gonna get rid of all of this. And the keyword that you wanna to use to create an inner shadow is in set. So that's what we do. Now rarely do you actually give vertical or horizontal dimensions here. So we're just gonna leave that at zero pixels. We're not gonna specify anything there. And then we're gonna blur this by 15 pixels. And obviously, since we want this shadow to stand out, we want it darker than the background color. So let's go ahead and make this black. And black is usually a really good one to use when you're trying to cast an inner glow or inner shadow. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's refresh and see how that looks really kind of snappy. Looks really nice, doesn't it? So that's how you create an inner shadow or sometimes they refer to it as an inner glow. 